Today, I'm gonna to show you this beautiful house in Querétaro, Mexico. This place is gorgeous. Outside of the home here, you have parking for three vehicles, so you have enough space to park your Mercedes and your Range Rover. And there's some storage over in that corner, and also there's a couple cameras on, on the outside because this place has a security system included. Normally, to buy a house this nice here in Querétaro, you have to purchase a mansion, but this is perfect for someone who wants a reasonably sized house with gorgeous everything. This place is located inside of a secure gated community that consists of about 70 homes in total. At the front door, you have something I've never seen before. This is like a smart lock handle. You have your doorbell here, you have a keypad so you can enter your code to unlock the door. And the owner of this house built it for himself. So he used like very high quality everything inside of here. Next to the front door here, you have a separate entrance. If you're having guests over, if you're having a party in the backyard, well then the guests can enter through here so you don't have to have them going through the house so you uh, keep that privacy. All right, let's go inside. Open this massive wooden door here. Look how thick this thing is. Like, this is the quality you have throughout the entire house. Top notch everything. Something else you'll notice throughout the home is there's lots of natural light everywhere, as well as really unique lighting fixtures. I love the chandeliers and different lighting options they have in here. Something else I love about this place is that although you're in a modern home that's only four years old, you have trees growing inside, and then you have these massive windows overlooking the beautiful backyard with the trees growing out there, so you get kind of a nature feeling while you're inside of a modern home. And right next to this tree growing in this home, you have this little nook that's currently set up as a sports-themed little room, but it could be an office or something like that. This home is three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and the half bath is located right next to the front door. And I love the looks of this bathroom with those unique lighting fixtures. Simple, but really pretty. Next to the guest bathroom, you have your stairs that lead on up to the bedrooms. But first, I'm going to show you this amazing living room with these gorgeous vaulted ceilings, with natural light coming in from everywhere, top of the line, materials everywhere as well. I love these massive windows that overlook the garden. I love the tree growing inside of here. Adjacent to the living room here is a dining room area with plenty of seating. One of my favorite things about this home are these massive windows and they all slide open. So you kind of get this indoor outdoor experience with lots of natural light and the breeze coming through here. It feels really good to be in this home. And next to the dining room area, you have this gorgeous kitchen with this stone countertop, top of the line appliances as well. You have a dishwasher, which is a little bit rare in Mexico. Something I love about this is part of the cabinets you can't see into, but part of them you can. So you have some that are glass as well. I think that's really cool. I love that design feature. And all of these cabinets have the soft close technology. So that's really nice to have. I love that feature in a home. And then right next to the kitchen here, this door slides open and you have this teppanyaki grill with seating for seven people, a big TV on the wall. This home is perfect for those who love to entertain. Right off the kitchen here is the hallway that leads into the maid's quarters, so I'll show you that really quickly. Here is where they have the washer and dryer, and then you open here to get into the maid's quarters. They have two full-time maids who live here, so there's a bunk bed for the two of them. And in here they have some closet space, a TV, and then a complete bathroom in there as well. On the coffee table here, they have a Louis Vuitton book. And that reminds me of this guy who has properties all over the world. He said that no matter where in the world you are, a great way to judge a home's location is DTLV. So this could be in Paris, New York, California, Mexico, wherever. But DTLV is distance to Louis Vuitton. And the DTLV of this home is about as good as it gets. It's a three minute drive down the road to Anteo Lifestyle Center, which is one of the biggest malls in Latin America.
Okay, now let's head upstairs. So for these steps, you have real wood. There's like a brick against the wall here. You have this really nice glass here. So you have beautiful views that aren't obstructed. I, th I think the glass looks really good. And then through here, you can see the chandeliers that are hanging from the ceiling that light the living room. Like many homes in Mexico, right at the top of the stairs, this has a TV room with one of the most interesting ceiling fans I've ever seen. It's like they took an airplane propeller and made it into a ceiling fan. I think that's really unique. Upstairs is where you'll find all three bedrooms in here. First, we're going to go into the other two bedrooms and then lastly into the master bedroom. Going into the first bedroom here, this is their daughter's room. The light fixtures in here are interesting. They almost look like clouds but there's lots of natural light that comes in here through this window. And then you're looking in here and the closet looks absolutely enormous. While it's a big closet, it's not as big as it looks because that's an illusion and that's a mirror. So from here, you can see the whole closet without the illusion of the mirror. And then on your left, you have the sink and a big mirror. And then there's the shower and the toilet room with plenty of natural light coming in from above. And now let's head into the second bedroom. You might be able to tell that the owner of this home is a huge sports fan. Coming into the right, you have your bathroom with your natural light coming in from above the sink here. And then there's the shower and the toilet, pretty standard, but also there's very high ceilings in here and then natural light coming in from above wherever they can have it. And coming in here, you have a queen size bed with sports stuff covering the walls and then football helmets in the cabinetry there, but all that stuff is going with when the owner of the house moves. But anyway, let's head into the master bedroom. Next to the TV room here is the master bedroom. You're going to love this. Check this out. So in here you have a beautiful king size bed. I love the lighting hanging from the ceiling here. I think this is really unique, super cool. I have never seen anything like that. Lots of light coming in from outside there. On the wall there, there's a big TV. And up here is another one of these propeller-like fans. And the curtain is actually automatic. I'm not sure exactly how this works, but you give it a little tug and then it closes itself the rest of the way. So I, I think that's a pretty unique feature. And then it does the same thing in reverse to open. But let's head into the closet. Look at this freaking closet. How huge and amazing is this? And then yet again, we have lighting hanging from the ceiling here. Also in this closet, I really like these chairs they have set up in the middle here. If you have a lot of shoes, no worries. There's plenty of space for your shoes here. Heck, there's even space for Shaquille O'Neal's shoe right here. <laughs> And then adjacent to the closet, you have a huge mirror with lots of natural light coming in from the ceiling. Over here is the toilet area. And then on the opposite side is the shower. But this closet is incredible. Before finishing up this video, I wanted to give you some additional information about like pros and cons of this house from my perspective, things like the price and other need to know information. And I also wanted to let you guys know that my favorite Spanish course is on sale this weekend. It's 60% off for the first thousand courses sold. If you're considering moving to Mexico, I highly recommend learning Spanish. Seriously, the more Spanish you can learn, the easier your life in Mexico is going to be. So if you want to go check that out, head on over to tangerinespanish.com. That's my affiliate link and it will take you right there. Again, that's tangerinespanish.com this weekend only for the first thousand courses sold. After seeing this tour, I'm guessing you'll agree with me that this house is really nice. However, there are some cons, some things I don't like about it. So I wanted to tell you my thoughts on that. Number one is there's still construction going on within the gated community. However, it does look like they're getting close to finishing, like the houses are totally built. So it looks like that'll be done in a few months if I had to guess. Number two is I wish that gated community had more amenities. Like 
the monthly maintenance fee is 1300 pesos so it's not too much but I don't feel like you get much either like you get a community with high security and I feel like that's about it like there's some meeting rooms but there, there's no pool there's not really uh, nice areas to walk around or anything like that so honestly I, I wish it had more amenities and if it were me buying this house I would gladly pay a higher HOA fee each month to get additional amenities. Another thing is the yard is pretty small. Like for me, I think I would want a bigger yard and preferably like a balcony outside. Like for example, it would be really cool if the master bedroom had a balcony instead of the current design. And lastly, for this price point, I feel like the house is pretty small. Of course, you saw the tour. You saw that everything is top notch, really high quality materials. So you're definitely paying for those high quality materials and having a really well built, beautiful house. I love the home. The home is beautiful. There's so many gorgeous details. I love the lighting. The master closet is to die for. Uh, the kitchen is awesome. That outdoor space with that teppanyaki grill setup. That's really cool. I love the tree inside. There's so many things I like about it. And the location's great as well. You are really close to a ton of restaurants. One of the largest malls in Latin America is a three minute drive away. And at that mall, you have City Market, which in my opinion is the very best grocery store in all of Queretaro. It's certainly the fanciest. It's, it's my favorite by far. Also, you're right next to Highway 57, so it's super convenient to get to other places in the city. And Highway 57, if you get on that and you head north, that will actually take you all the way to the United States. And then right across the highway from the biggest mall in Latin America, you also have another shopping center that has a Walmart, a Sam's Club, a Petco, an Office Depot, and many other stores as well. So you have tons of shopping very conveniently located to you in addition to countless restaurants. So the location for me is something I really, really love. I also really like how secure that community is. To me, it seems like they take the security of that gated community very seriously. So this home is just a few years old. The size of it is 315 square meters. It has three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, plus a maid's quarters, which also has its own full bathroom. And the monthly maintenance fee is 2,300 pesos. And the asking price for this home is 8,900,000 pesos. And if you're interested in purchasing this home, you can send an email to the email address that's on the screen and tell them that you're interested in Casa Arbole.